Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you. And it's for Wednesday, the 11th day of uh, November. I do want to remind you that it's going to be Rosh Chodesh starting Wednesday night into Thursday and Thursday night into Friday. All those two days are Rosh Chodesh. Please, uh, please note that. Okay, for those of you who have braces, and we were doing the laws of dairy and meat and, and, you know, and what to do, it is advisable that if you eat a dairy meal and you know that there's dairy food stuck in your braces, that you should try to clean out that stuff from within your braces before going on to a meat meal. You don't have to blow towards your braces or anything crazy, but you should clean away pieces if you can before going on to a meat meal from dairy or dairy from meat and vice versa. This is not an NCSY halacha coming up next because we are a youth group, but those people with dentures, um, dentures are treated just like regular teeth. You don't have to do anything with them. And uh, you just continue eating like regular and uh, you just do whatever, whatever regular people do. Uh, now, the next halacha is kind of obvious, and that is that it's a very good idea. You, have, you really should, in your kitchen, have a separate sponge for uh, washing your meat dishes and a separate sponge for washing your dairy dishes and maybe even a separate one for washing par of dishes because uh, it's going to touch hot water and it's going to touch uh, meat particles, dairy particles, and therefore you should have a separate uh, sponge for each one of the things in your kitchen. Separate dish drainers also are recommended. A dish drainer where your uh, meat dishes will drain and dry, and same thing for your dairy dishes. Dishwashers, the best thing to say, safest thing to say, is that you have to have, you really should have a meat dishwasher for your meat dishes and a dairy dishwasher for your dairy dishes. You don't have to have any dishwasher, but I'm just saying that you can't really um, comfortably have one dishwasher for meat and dairy dishes. It's way too complicated. If for whatever reason you feel like you have to, you could discuss it with the Rav. There could be maneuverability, but generally we say it's so difficult to do, and we just recommend that if you want a dishwasher, make your dishwasher meat for the meat dishes. And if you really can afford to have another one and you have room for it, then have a, a dairy one for your dairy dishes. But you can't be washing generally dairy and meat dishes in one dishwasher. Um, even par of dishes, by the way, being washed in a meat dishwasher can even cause problems for the par of dishes. And they might not stay par of after that, so be careful with that too. Now, as far as glasses, drinking out of a glass, you know, glass technically is not considered so porous. And therefore, if a glass had some milk in it but was, you know, really, really cleansed and rinsed properly, it could then be said that there's no milk residue left in the glass and then it could be used for a meat meal. But we used to rely on that idea more when glass was expensive and it was hard and it isn't so porous, so we allowed it. Nowadays, you know, it's very affordable and easy to get separate glasses for milk and for meat, and therefore it is highly recommended that you just have uh, glasses that you use just for meat meals and glasses that you use just for dairy meals. That's the better way to do it. If you have boiled eggs and they were boiled in a meat pot or if they were boiled in a dairy pot, they could be still sliced with a par of egg slicer and that would be fine. And then they could go on to, uh, to whatever meal they're going to. But the fact that they were boiled in a meat pot doesn't make it that it's going to ruin the egg slicer. I, I still say it would be best to have the egg boiled in a meat pot, served in a meat meal, but the point is that that egg slicer can be par of and it won't get unpar of just by touching the cold egg as it slices through the cold egg. So let me just say that clearly again. So if your egg was boiled in a meat pot, a par of egg slicer can still slice it and stay a par of egg slicer. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow, and uh, depending on when you hear this, well, whenever you hear it, have a good Chodesh, beginning, uh, Rosh Chodesh beginning on Wednesday night. Bye-bye.